Yo, yo, guys, Roll down here with my Run With The Wind review. I know, I know, it's well overdue, but here we go. Run With The Wind is a running sport and drama anime that revolves around a well-rounded group of 10 college students who, at first, did not want to do anything with running at all besides one man. That man is Haji Kiyosen. who wants to make the other nine run an event called the Haruko Iken. Will these men follow one guy's dream to be at the top, or will everything just fall apart before they even start? With this, I shall begin the actual review and I will try to keep spoilers out of it, but no promises. Or are we? Sports drama anime? Do you mean like- <laughs> No 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 no, I mean look how scary that face is. I mean yes, it is a drama, but it's not an tense to where someone's mind is completely crazy. But instead, it will make you feel for the group of the hard comings that each of them has for trying to get a job to learn the reason why they want to run. Now let's get into the review and have some fun. Now, when you think of running, you think of this. No, enough of the cringe of me running. Let's get into some of the characters that make this anime astonishing. Without the characteristic of these characters, you would not have such a well-made group of individuals that have their own struggles to deal with and for what they truly want for themselves. Kakeru Kuahara is one of the main characters of this anime. He is the best runner out of the 10 and has a bit of a temper and attitude when it comes to running. He is only a first year at Kensei University who actually starts out stealing from a convenience store. But eventually, from the persistence of a certain person, he comes to Chikikeru to live. As the anime goes on, you learn more about how he was brought up by his high school coach and how he was treated differently from everyone else because of his excellent running, which makes him isolated and kind of hated by his teammates. But as the anime continues, he learns that winning is not all he needs but having teammates to lean on him for support and ones that he can lean on to bring out some amazing results. Haji Kiyose is a fourth year at Kensei University and just like Kakeru is an excellent runner, but with a slight weakness. One of his knees is shot and has been through surgery and began training on ever since. He is the mastermind of getting this whole track team together as he wants to find the meaning of what it means to run. He is an oddball, but is the hardest worker out of all of them, as he cooks the meals and plans out all the workouts for the team. It has been a long road for him, as his high school career did not turn out the way he wanted it. With a bad knee, he was forced to quit running by his dad, which was his coach at the time. To say the least, he was frustrated that he even convinced himself that he hated running, but later on, he realized that he loves running and wants to run, which lit the fire for him to get a team together and try to run in the Haruko Iken. Overall, he is one of the one that motivates the group to run and work on their flaws. Now for the last character that I'll talk about. It's probably my favorite to watch grow in the anime. His name is Anki Kajawazaki, or aka Prince. Now, this is by far one of the most interesting characters as he has zero interest to run or even exercise. He is a lover of anime and manga as his room is piled high with, with it, which makes it hard to see anything in his room. He starts out by having the worst time out of everyone as he has no stamina, no running skill, but despite that, he would come to start enjoying running and by far is one of the most developed and improved characters in anime. <laughs> Overall, I think people will come to like Prince for his upcomings and transformation through the whole anime. This is probably one of the most important part of the anime because if the chemistry is not right, then the anime would just fall apart. But a good thing is that the bonds between everyone are fantastic. One of the bonds I think is the best of all of them. I mean all of them. 
is Kakeru and Prince. Their relationship starts out rocky as Kakeru is a kind of on edge with uh, Prince being not able to run well at all. He even threatens Prince that if he cannot improve his time, he would be kicked out of the team. But as the anime goes on, Kakeru learns that he should try to help and understand Prince instead of getting frustrated at him. This is one of the great developments between the two and I think it was great to show through the course of the anime. There are many other bonds like this in the story, but I think you should just watch it to understand what I mean. In closing, I could go on and on about the different characters, but we would be here forever. They all bring something special to the anime, even the side characters bring something special to it. Even the lost bonds that were rekindled showed something to be excited for, even the ones that bring out rivalries between everyone, including the side characters. But that is one reason why this anime is such a great anime. But I think we've talked long enough about this. Let's move on to the next area. I think one of the big points of this anime is the visuals and music. Now, this might be a little scuffed as I don't know exactly how I should go around about talking about these two points, but screw it. Let's just jump in and see how it goes. The visuals in this anime aren't amazing, but I still think they are great. They show the hardship that one can go through or how beautiful a runner can run. In all honesty, I think this is one of the big points to the anime. It really shows how people feel and what they are going through. I mean, when Kakeru runs, it looks like he is walking on air, and everyone can see that. He just floats on by anyone. Or in Kakeru's point of view, he is lonely in a place that is dark in solitude. But not only that, the scenery is great as well, showing off these different areas of Japan. Overall, I think this brings out the anime and shows you something that you can bring something out of you. The music in this anime was outstanding and really brought out the emotions you should feel through the anime. Even the opening and endings were amazing. Throughout the show, the music would empower the emotions, trying to get you feel something. And I'll tell you, they deliver week after week. You always feel something, a bond between these characters, something that makes you feel like you are there in all the action and the drama. That's all I have to say about this. I don't know, I just wanted to say something and anything about it. I know this is short, but I don't know what I should go over at this point. This is my first review, so I'm hoping for some amazing feedback and amazing criticism, so the next sound one can be even better than this. With that, I should give you the rating of the anime. I personally would give it a 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed the anime. I watched it twice now. Once by myself and a second time with um, one of my close friends. And um, I, I still love it from it. Uh, there's more I can go on about it, but I just I just can't. But for um, being somewhat of a YouTuber, I'll tone it down. Um, let's say like a three, not three, 9.37 out of 10. Um, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review, and I hope that you will want more in the future. And of course, um, watch an watch this anime and tell me what you thought of it. But as always, guys, don't forget to like um like this video really and then comment down with um other reviews that you want me to try to do um or um and and or with um criticism and feedback i really do appreciate it so that i can make these things 10 times better than they were uh, before um but yeah and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and then hit that bell button uh, to be notified whenever i post a new video and as always guys this is raw down rolling out See you next time.